Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel and yes I know it's been a while since I've put together a build guide however today I decided to share with you all this awesome energy weapon build that I'm pretty sure a lot of you will get a lot of fun out of and definitely something to work towards regardless if you're new to the game or even a veteran. So without any further ado let's get into it. So, as mentioned, it's been a while since I've put together a dedicated build video or even any Fallout 76 video for that matter, and considering that, that also means that it's been a while since I've actually covered some of the most recent updates that have now actually gone live in the game. And to be honest, there's been a couple of updates that have actually made the general day-to-day -day adventures throughout the wasteland that a little bit easier and to be honest, more streamlined. More than likely, if you've been keeping up to date with everything Fallout related, you'll probably remember that Bethesda implemented some tweaks and improvements to some of the existing perk cards that are in the game and also including some really neat and helpful new ones. To be specific, I'm talking specifically about the improvements made to the science perk cards in the intelligence category. That's right, if you're unaware, Bethesda made it so that with each rank of the science perk cards and if you max each of them out, you'll generate an extra 10% damage bonus with energy weapons. And considering there's three different versions of this card, that being the science perk, science master and science expert perk, you can generate an additional 30% bonus damage with energy weapons while all three three of these cards are equipped and it doesn't end there. Obviously in the past if you used energy weapons and to be specific either automatic or single shot energy weapons you would mainly have to utilize the commando perks or the rifleman perks in order to generate or produce that extra damage bonus. However the cool thing now is and after testing each of these weapons out you can now utilize both the commando perks and the science perks respectively which if you can follow where I'm going with this you can now make energy weapons even more useful and deadly than before. And on a side note I'm not to say that this perk I'm about to mention specifically relates to this build, but the perk card Gunfu has now had its damage bonus significantly increased. As you can see by this note left on August 22nd, Gunfu, we've significantly increased the damage bonus with Gunfu on all ranks, which means if you're utilizing VATs with any build going forward, this card is going to be a massive help when it comes to pumping out even more damage. So how about we go over and check out the build that I've thrown together. Now, before we go through the build itself, I just want to note that I've been dreaming of the day where I could finally have some dedicated energy weapon perks. And again, I know I'm a few weeks off and actually showcasing this, but I've always loved using laser rifles and energy weapons in all the Fallout games, so I'm actually quite giddy and excited to showcase this. So if you can, and if you find that this build helps you out, make sure to leave this video a like and consider subscribing, as all the support is greatly appreciated. And if you'd like to check out other builds that I've thrown together here on the channel, I'll leave a link to my builds playlist in the top right hand corner of the screen. Anyway, with the build itself, we're going to be focusing on a low health automatic energy weapon build. However, the main card you want to focus on is rank one of Arms Keeper, so that your rifles weigh 25% less. Max rank of all of the commando perks, so that automatic rifles will now deal plus 60% extra damage. Max rank of Tank Killer, so that your rifles ignore 36% of your target's armor. And rank one of Concentrated Fire, so that VATs now target limbs. Max rank of Suppressor, so that you reduce your target's damage output by 30% for 2 seconds after you attack, and max rank of tenderizers that your target receives 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Max rank of nerd rage because again this is a low health build, so while below 20% health you'll gain 40 damage resistance, 20% increased damage and 15% extra AP regen. Max rank of science, science expert and science master, so your energy damage will gain plus 30% extra damage. Max rank of action points so and action points regenerate 45% faster. One rank of covert operatives so that range attacks do an additional 15% sneak attack damage. Rank 2 of Gunfu so that VAT swap targets on kill with a plus 10% then plus 30% damage to your next two targets. However, if you prefer to swap out any of the other perks in this build and prefer to max this card out so that you gain that plus 60% damage increase to your third target, then fire away. Max rank of Adrenaline so that you gain an additional 60% damage for 30 seconds. Max rank of Bloody Mess for an additional 15% bonus damage. Max rank of Grim Reaper Sprint so that any kills in VATs has a 35% chance to restore all action points. Rank 1 of Psychopaths, so any kill in VATS has a 5% chance to refill your critical meter. And lastly, max rank of Better Criticals, so that VATS criticals now do plus 100% damage. The rest of the build is mainly made up of damage mitigation perks and character build specific perks, so if you'd like to pause the video here so you can get an overview of the build, then you can go ahead and do so. Moving on to our legendary perks, we have max rank of legendary luck, strength, agility, intelligence and charisma, and max rank of follow through so that ranged sneak attacks deal an additional 40% damage for 10 seconds. 
seconds. Moving on to your special points, and once you have your legendary perks in place, this is what your special stats will look like. And again, if you'd like to pause the video here, you can go ahead and do so. Lastly, with the build itself, these are the mutations I'm currently running with the build, along with a full set of unyielding Secret Service armor. But don't worry, I'll leave a list of the mutations and stats on each armor piece in a pinned comment below, so you can check those out for yourself. And lastly, before we head on out and test the build out itself, the weapons we're going to be utilizing today will be a mixture of bloodied and quad ultrasight laser rifles, alien disintegrators, Raiders and Tesla rifles. Now that we've covered the entire build itself, perk cards, special stats, weapons and armor, let's go and test this build out and all the enemies that Appalachia has to offer. And there you have it, my low health energy weapon build. Hopefully today's video helped you utilize energy weapons a little bit better in the wasteland, and hopefully it won't take you too long to roll the weapons and armor for the build itself. And have fun with this build, folks. Use it as a template for something even better for yourself. But most importantly, I hope it's inspired some of you to pick up those energy weapons and start having fun with them again. And if you found today's video enjoyable, consider clicking that subscribe button for more Fallout content like this, and so you never miss out on any videos that I publish. I want to say a massive thank you to all of our channel members and subscribers here on the channel, as it means the world to me that you enjoy my content and the work that I produce. For our Bethesda and Fallout fans, if you find yourself shopping on the Bethesda store and would like to support the channel, you can use my creator code BTStarfieldV93 to receive 20% off of your purchases at checkout. And if you'd like to support the channel in a little bit more personal way, consider checking out my merch store, which has an array of t-shirts, mugs, and other pineapple-related merch, which I'll leave in a link in the description of this video. And lastly, to you, the viewer, the person who stumbled upon this video, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Vault Dwellers, thank you so much for all of your support over the past several months. Thank you so much for your patience because it is good to be back with all of you again. But most importantly, stay safe out there in the wasteland. Welcome to Vault 93 and I'll catch all of you legends in the next video.